Hello, everybody. Welcome to Build Fly Go. So, some good progress this week, though unfortunately not a ton of uh, work actually <laughs> got done. Um, so, we are sort of finishing off the plumbing, the last little bits of plumbing um, that are remaining here, really just tightening things up at this point. Uh, we have all the lines and all of that. And uh, then we're going to start on the controls. Um, you'll see, I believe I'm working on the controls. No, no that's plumbing. <laughs> and then we're going to start on the controls. You know that the push rods are mostly in. You see one of them is off to the side there. Um, those get uh, put in place. And the sticks get sorted out. And uh, then we get the flap uh, sort of torque tubes and flap motor and all that sorted out. So... Um, lots of boxes checked, if you will, uh, which is nice as uh, we come up on uh, having to face the uh, cabin top. <laughs> so uh, finishing up uh, some safety wire there. So the front control stick, um, the rod end bearing is um, extended further out than halfway, so you have to safety wire it. And uh, it's interesting, the way the rod ends are set up, they're inserted more than halfway so that if, the, if they come loose um, from, the, from the push rods, they can't actually back themselves all the way out, right? Because the, if the tube starts turning, it'll bump into the other side before it releases the, the, the first side. And what happens with the, the front one there is it's too long, so, so we can't actually do that so what we use is just safety wire to keep it keep the tube from being able to turn and that takes care of that problem but anyway here we are uh, with the control sticks um, I'm measuring them you see me measuring them and asking Mary to, to check measurements there uh, I'm making sure that they are parallel to each other um, so that uh, you know it, it feels correct uh, as you as you're flying from one side to the other now you'll, you're seeing me work on the flap torque tubes. Those go into the um, sides there. You're going to see me uh, sort of struggling to, to fit these in place and, and get them to work. Um, it turns out I discovered later that when I was labeling these to reassemble them, I labeled them wrong. <laughs> so, of course, that made my life uh, much harder as I put it together and was like, this is really not fitting. <laughs> What's going on here? Um, eventually, I figured it out and uh, we put the bolts in. Um, those bolts are a pain, let me tell you. Um, getting your hands uh, sort of in there and the um, socket set and the torque wrench not having enough teeth in it so that you can't, you, can, you get one click as it moves and that's basically it. So you're at that for a while, um, which is why you see most of, you know, like half of this video is me in, you know, that exact position right there as we try and tighten these, these bolts. So that's, <laughs> that gets done, and we move on to uh, the flap motor, uh, which fits in there quite nicely. I had to adjust uh, some of those spacers as, uh, as in the plans, but not a, not a huge amount. Um, and what you see here is uh, we're doing a Super Aero Live uh, video, um, and I decided to do it from inside the airplane. So I've got my uh, iPad there <laughs> and getting interviewed on uh, Ryan's channel. But here we go, finishing this up and getting the flap motor in place. And uh, I think there's some tiny little loose ends to tie off this coming week. And then we'll get that uh, cabin top and uh, start covering ourselves in uh, fiberglass dust. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon.